Back to that Kevin Show with Kevin McCullough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is someone who I originally met many films ago. And in fact, uh, The Patterns of Evidence uh, was not a, yet a series. It was just a single documentary that he had produced uh, examining the uh, evidence of the origins, the reliability of some of the Old Testament books. And he has since gone on to do a number of films. The most recent one we will discuss uh, tonight. And I am so honored to have back with us Tim Mahoney. Hi, Tim. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for having me back. What's the name of the newest film and what's the story behind it? In 2003, I actually began this investigation uh, and I went to um, uh, Saudi Arabia. I had I got permission, official permission to go because I had heard that there was evidence of um, at a mountain where there were pillars, altars, uh, graveyards, things that were matching a pattern of evidence for the children of Israel at Mount Sinai. And uh, but when I got there, they didn't want us there. And when I left the country, by the way, May 15th, you know, 20 years ago, in 2003, uh, when I left the country, I left without any footage. And I was in despair. I thought, what am I going to do? Because they confiscated it. And I wasn't able to actually make a movie back then. So it's taken me this last uh, two decades to really bring it around and to be able to do this investigation the way we needed to do it. And thankfully, here we are going to be releasing the film in over 700 theaters may 15th and 17th very excited about that let me ask you pull the camera back no pun intended just mm -hmm. uh, a little bit on the patterns of evidence uh, series as a whole i mean we started with that very first one and i've missed a few in between here and there we i think we've covered a couple of your films but what has been the impact of combining um grade a science to theories and questions and the texts of scripture well i think that right now the scripture in a lot of universities and and college campuses uh is considered irrelevant and what's been happening is that by me taking this approach which i had no idea i would be involved with it's really a scientific approach the patterns of evidence is is to have a theory and then to look for the pattern the theory is that the biblical text is historical. We look at different events and we try to say, can we find those events? And we make a pattern and then we investigate that. Now, what we're finding is that the pattern is there, but it's not always at the time people have suggested, and it's not always in the place. And that is the reason why these are very effective investigations, because people, I believe, made mistakes in the past. And what they've done is instead of calling their instead of recognizing that maybe they don't have the right idea, they basically have said the Bible isn't historical. And the effect, Kevin, is that you send your your children off to college, and uh, they are told, you know, your parents really don't know what they're talking about. This Bible is not really historical. These events didn't happen, and there's no reason why you should believe any of it. Hmm. Well, so how many films have you done in the series thus far? Uh, this is number six. Okay. So we've we've got the Exodus, the Moses controversy, Red Sea one and two, and now Journey to Mount Sinai one and two. Um, so for people that did not see Mount Sinai one, uh, if they go on the fifteenth or seventeenth of this month, will they be unable to grasp the the introduction to the conversation? Not at all. These films really are standalone investigations. Uh, what I've done is I've just expanded it. So we're going to be looking at three mountains. Uh, it's over a two-hour film, and we're going to be investigating a pattern of evidence for the location of you know what what was the journey that was taken, and we're going to re we're going to basically starting from scratch with this. When you look at the other one, it's just another volume of mountains that we look at. We will summarize it all, but you don't have to see the first one in order to actually really get a lot out of the second one. Uh, and they're standalone films. I'm assuming the uh, the scientists that you have examining the evidence that you bring back are, are all A grade, but talk to me about the types of scientists that you've pulled in to take a look at this. I'm assuming geologists and, and other important fields. Very interesting about this is that we're going into forbidden territory here. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Saudi Arabia. Two of the mountains we're going to be investigating are in Saudi, and there has not been 
any archaeologist allowed to really survey that time period because it's been off limits politically. So what we've found is there's a new category, which I call Exodus Explorers. Those Exodus Explorers are people who independently have taken upon themselves, some of them uh, multiple times have snuck into the country taking photographs and trying to get back to someone. There have been other people who are archaeologists who've been trying to get in, but because of the nature of the Israel and Arab world, there was no one was going to be willing to allow Israel to have a history, especially if that history was going to be in their backyard. Mm -hmm. So this film is not just archaeology. It also has that political a drama that's associated with this investigation and that was part of the inve part of the story that i have so i'm going to tell the backstory of exodus explorers who actually got arrested and accused of being israeli spies in this film i'm going to also though talk with um yuri zarns who is a uh, uh, who was able to dig there and uh, in my interviews, some of the scholars told me that they find evidence for the Bible all the time, but they know that academically they can't talk about it. But they talk amongst themselves because, you see, talking about the Bible is off limits, both academically and sometimes politically. But he had just retired, and he said, you know what, I don't care anymore. I'm going to talk about this, and I'm going to let you know that he saw— and, and was very interested and felt that there was a pattern of evidence there that but needed to be investigated. But Kevin, part of the problem was this. When explorers would go in there and get arrested because they were wandering around there, that would cause them to be more alarm. And that then also caused it to be more difficult for anyone to do scientific work in the area because it was then a big problem and fences came up and they guarded it and they had guards there. But that became then more interesting because it was like, <laughs> what are they trying to hide, right? Well, it sounds like uh, it will be uh, a very fast moving two hours. And as the pattern of evidence films that I've seen always are, they're ex extremely compelling. Friends, uh, you want to get tickets and you want to go see it. Can they get tickets at PatternsOfEvidence.com? Is that where they go? Yes, that's that's a good place. Tim it Mahoney, is. it's been far too long, but thanks for coming by and telling us about this. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Kevin. You got it. Ready or not, you'll be right back.